Hey guys, I'm going to be explaining the Steam Family Sharing Beta to you. Okay, for those unaware, Steam um, recently, like a month ago, announced that they are going to enable family and friends sharing with your Steam account. If you don't know what that is, that allow um, what they're going to do is allow you to share up to 10 devices off of your Steam account, and I'll explain that shortly. Uh, me and my friend got into it, so it makes it really simple to um, uh, show you. I can't show you exactly, but I'll give you the gist of what it's going to be like. Okay, to get into early beta, for those who uh, care about that, you simply, all you have to do is click on community, go to search players and group right over here. I already have it copied, but type in Steam Family Sharing. Simply hit enter to search. You'll see this one down right here. Click on that. And I have my, a few of my friends in there now. Um, I, everybody in the group so far has been invited to the beta. Uh, Steam's pretty lenient, it seems, on the beta. It said like the first 10,000 people will get it, but there's over 276,000 members in this so far, and most of them have access to the beta already. So if you join this group, that's how I got it, and you can invite all your friends and everything from there. Okay, once you have the beta, now you may be wondering, what exactly do I do? Well, simply, all you have to do is, you won't really notice, um anything different you're supposed to get an email uh, from your st uh, in your email link to your steam account but I never got one of those to tell me I was in the beta so you might not eat it but assuming you don't get the email most people do all you have to do is simply go to uh, steam settings in the top left this will pop up um, here and first you have to go make sure you're in beta per um, tip Precipitation, <laughs> whatever, uh, and go to change and make sure you are in the Steam Beta update. I'm not sure how they got disabled, but make sure it's in the Steam Beta update. And that will make. Um, uh, oh, I guess it resets. I don't know what that is. Usually it stays, but make sure you're in the Steam Beta update. Make sure it's the Steam Science up to date so you can use it. And you'll see a fifth um, little button right here will let you know that you have Steam Family Sharing. And all you have to do to register a computer is, uh, it, they make it really simple. Uh, uh, when you log in, do, all you have to do is have the person log in to their Steam account on your computer. So what I have here, I have some devices I have authorized. I have my, this computer that's currently on. My friend Chris's MacBook, we were just testing it out. I'll probably eventually delete that since he doesn't play games on it. And my friend Brandon's desktop, which we authorized uh, the other night. And all that is simply as, I'll probably authorize it just to show you. Just simply as click at the authorize, boom, gone. Chris's laptop has no longer authorization to under my account to play my games. Um, like I said, that allows up to 10 people to be under that list uh, and all you have to do if you didn't catch what I said before is simply go up this uh, top left steam up here go change user now uh, you either have to ask your friend for their credentials or you have to have them log in uh, into your computer you can't just like I've, before I thought it was supposed to be able to request access but I guess not uh, maybe later they will add that in the official release but right now, you actually have to log in uh, using your uh, friend's credentials. And they have to authorize this computer uh, like they would there. So you have to get the email and type in the four or five digit code, the five digit code you get from your email. Authorize the computer. And then what you would do, you go here, settings, manage family sharing, and it would have authorized device. Um, you, you click on the computer and, like this the example computer click authorize device and that's it and then you would log, out, log back out and you are done 
since I've done all this stuff, uh, my friend Michael and I have uh, switched info, and he is sharing. I'm sharing from his account, he's sharing from mine, vice versa. So we both have pretty much access to each of each other's games. Um, what, how you find out is if you see right here where my mouse is, it says all games, and you have a drop down list when you click on it. It has all games between both of us. The software is mine. Recent we play games, installed games, favorite games, other games, my games. Okay, what I was getting to is it has my games here, and uh, I'm not sure even how to pronounce his name. It's Mac, Macanick or something. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce his name, but that's his games, and then my games. So what it shows, I only have like 94 games. He has 203. And it doesn't duplicate them, so I have a total of 298 games that I can play now, which is pretty freaking awesome. Um, simply all I have to do is go to his games, and this whole list now, I think it's like just over 200 games that I don't have and I can play, as long as he isn't playing. It's a pretty awesome thing um, Valve has implemented. Um, a critique, or... or Something you have to be aware of, if he happens to come over here, he, like, say, uh, one game, I I own on disc, I own Crisis. Right here, uh, these two games right here, Crisis and Crisis Warhead, I own those two games on disc, but Steam makes it way easy to install, play, get quick access to, I don't have to worry about going to disc and everything else. And that was awesome, so occasionally, like, we were testing with Crisis, so I installed that on my computer and everything else. Because it was super quick. And one thing I found out was you have to have, you have to be able to use your friend's games, you have to be connected to the internet. It will not let you start the game without being connected to the internet. Uh, another thing I've noticed, uh, which is clearly stated, is if your friend were to go play, start playing a game, like if he were to start showing up, like if I played Crisis. Uh, start playing Crisis, and he starts playing his game. I'll give you five minutes to save Crisis and log out before it just kicks me off. But if he can be logged into his account on his computer while I play, as long as he's not playing a game, and vice versa. So if I'm not playing a game like I am now, I'm not playing a game currently, no games being played, and he wants to play... He doesn't really have, I don't have many games that he doesn't already have. But if he wants to play, say uh, he doesn't have Chivalry Medieval Warfare. Say he wants to test it out before he bought the, it's on sale this weekend. Say he wants to test it out before he buys it. He could simply, while I'm not playing a game, test it out while I do something else. I don't know for sure, we haven't tried it yet, if I play one of his games and he plays one of mine. I feel like that won't work, but we haven't actually tested that yet. One cool thing I did notice is, for sure, if you want to play a single player game, for instance, Crisis is mainly strictly to be played for single player, you can um, start the game, which was required to have internet. And what you can do is, it, it seemed to work perfectly, and I'm sure it's going to be fixed later in an uh, update, but you can unplug your internet, and then he can um, then start up a game, and so you're both playing this uh, two games from his account, which is pretty cool. Um, I think that's going to be fixed, but overall, I think the, the Steam Family Sharing Beta is excellent, excellent, excellent. It's um, it's it's quite awesome. I don't, I'm speechless, I guess. But um, if you look at this list of games. None of these games I had before. Let's scroll through. I can play any of these. The one thing you must know. You m better trust the people you give access to. If they like hack or anything, do not let them have your, do not authorize their computer because it will use your account. It, if say he has, if you saw Black Ops, he has Black Ops too. If I were to get some hacking program, I don't hack. I don't. I don't. I don't care to hack. It's not. It's, it's not worth it to me, especially on Steam. If I were to hack hypothetically, and I get caught. It would ban his account, but not mine. So you have to be aware of that. It's something to take note, and do not give access to anyone you don't trust, especially with multiplayer games. Now, 
If you have any questions, comment below. Um, you'll probably e easily get access to this beta. It's just it's not like it's gonna have to pay for anything, anything else like that. Remember, you can only have ten devices. Uh, it's devices again, not ten accounts. Ten devices. Like I have um, my two main computers, my laptop and my desktop. But uh, if for my friend Michael to register it, he has to use two of his ten registrations to get my laptop and my desktop authorization to play his games. And currently it, he does, because um, he doesn't have anybody else ready to give it to. But I told him, like, just take off my laptop, I don't care um, if he needed more slots open. And it's just simple, it's like you should have solved it before to deauthorize it. Uh, if you have any questions about Steam Family Sharing, um, like I said, comment down below. Uh, I will try and help as I can, as I, or as much as I know. And I hope to see you in the next video. And thanks for watching.